everybody, I'm Gavin Coles. Thanks for joining me today. We're on our way to the first round of the Gin Classic. Well, I like to get to the golf course early so I can, you know, get here relaxed, have breakfast, not rush, sit down and, um, you know, have something to eat sort of um, get organised and get my stuff organised and then um, kind of have a stretch in the trailer and get warmed up sort of thing and then get out here nice and relaxed rather than flying in the parking lot, rushing in, trying to, um, you know, trying to get there. Clubs every time? Yep. What are they? Well, I start with a lob wedge, hit a few of those, and go to the wedge, the eight iron, the six iron, and the four iron, and a couple of three irons, which is that rescue. Um, I then usually go to the driver, unless I'm going to hit a lot of fairway wood, which could be on the cards this week. You want me to hit the cut? No, I don't want you to. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Three putt bogey I had to. Yeah, what you want to fix it on? Mm -hmm. No, you said my birdies and my bogey. I said I had a three putt bogey on it. And birdies. Had to get up and down on 17. Yeah. Had some really good up and downs today, and um, hit some very ordinary iron shots and with some indecisive, uh, very indecisive. Your situation. Yeah, I'm in, I'm in no man's land. If I, if I miss the cut this week or run 15th this week, I'm gonna be in no man's land. So I have nothing to lose and everything to gain. So if I have everything to gain, why should I be too worried about it if I stuff it up? If I stuff it up, I'm no worse off. But if I was number 126 on the money list and I went miss the cut, miss the cut, then you're leaving your destiny up to some in somebody else's hands, and that's not what we all like to do. We're all probably every one of us are control freaks. You know, we like to be in control, and we don't want to leave our livelihood up to somebody else. In other words, so I'm going to go and hit a couple of iron shots in a minute, since I didn't hit too many of them down the last nine holes. I'm going to go and actually try and hit some iron shots in play. Have hit a few iron shots, hit a few putts, have a couple of chip shots, and then go home. Go home, have a shower, put my feet up, and watch uh, TV. So, what else did you do at school today? Not much. Well, you obviously must have done something, mate. You're there for about six hours or seven hours, so you must have done something. Yeah. 
when you get home, do you think at all about golf, or is it? Try to leave it at back there. Yeah. Try to. I mean, you go through your round in your head, obviously, because I've got no. Uh, my, my wife and my kids aren't with me. I um, I'll probably sit down and think about how poorly I hit my iron shots today and how well I actually struck the ball with the uh, the fairway woods since this course played like a monster. Hey guys, well I hope you've uh, enjoyed your day in the life of uh, who've been with me all day. I hope you've enjoyed yourself and uh, I've enjoyed having the camera crew around. It's been great and we'll uh, see you again next time. Thank you.